Hi all, Ms. Z here, and today we're going to have a lesson on complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. So our standard is up here, our essential statement is, I can distinguish between complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles, and find the unknown angle measure. So first, we will have a couple of definitions to get us started. So what are complementary angles? Well, complementary angles are two angles whose measure have a sum of 90 degrees. And algebraically, that means the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. Now, if you notice over here on the left, I have a couple of things that you should take into account. Okay, it's our notation. This symbol right here means angle. The little circle above 90 means degrees, okay? Angles are measured in degrees, so we will label our angles with that symbol. That means degrees. And then M and then an angle means the measure of an angle, okay? So again, complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Now, supplementary angles are two angles whose measure have a sum of 180 degrees. So algebraically, it's the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees. So if you have two angles and they equal 180 degrees, those are supplementary angles. And vertical angles are the angles opposite each other when two lines intersect. So they are also congruent. Congruent means the same. Okay, so before we do a couple of examples, I want you to remember some things about angles. Okay, so remember, 90 degrees is a right angle. A right angle is denoted with this little box right here, okay? That means it is 90 degrees. And 180 degrees is a straight angle. It is a straight line going like this. Okay, so a couple of examples. Let's say we have our 90 degree angle. As soon as you see that your angle is 90 degrees, you know that we're working with complementary angles. So let me go ahead and zoom in real quick so you guys can see this. Okay, so let me finish this example. Oops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know, I'm showing off my erasable pens. Probably should have tested them. Okay, so here we go. Here is an example, and let's say we want to find x, which is right here, but we know that this angle over here is 25 degrees. Okay, we know that this angle is 25 degrees, but we don't know that angle. We do, however, know that these two angles added up together equal 90 degrees because this is, these are complementary angles. So what do we do? Well, we can set up an equation, okay? We know that this angle, 25k degrees, plus this angle, x, is equal to 90 degrees. That's the definition that we have up here from complementary angles, two angles whose measure have a sum of 90 degrees. And this is how you write your equation. So the measure of your first angle plus the measure of your second angle equals 90 degrees. So that's what we have written over here. And then draw a line down the equal sign. Find the side with the variable. Find the number not attached to the variable and perform the opposite operation. You guys probably heard me say these words about a billion times this year. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 25. Okay. So what is our unknown angle? X is equal to, let me go ahead and show my work on this, okay? 
borrow 10 minus 5 is 5, 8 minus 2 is 6, 65 degrees. So x is equal to 65 degrees. Now you're like, Ms. Z, you just did so much work and there was an easier way to do this. Well, you're right, okay? If you know that these two angles added up together equals 90 degrees, and you know that this angle is 25 degrees, all you have to do is subtract 25 from 90, and you also get 65 degrees. That is definitely a little trick, a little shortcut, okay? So let's go ahead and do the next example, okay? We have a straight line. A straight line is always equal to 180 degrees. Now let's say that this angle right here is 140 degrees. If that angle is 140 degrees, let's find our unknown angle x. Well, you're like, Ms. Z, well, we know a straight line is 180 degrees and we know that one angle is 140, so can't we just kind of see what plus 140 equals 180? Yes, that is exactly what you do. But let's go ahead and write out that equation, okay? You know that this angle plus this angle equals 180 degrees. These are supplementary angles. So you know that x plus 140 is equal to 180. So you draw the line down the equal sign, you find the side with the variable, find the number not attached to the variable and perform the opposite operation. Okay, so we know that x is equal to 40 degrees. Or yes, you could have taken 140 and subtracted it from 180. You get the same answer. That is correct. Okay, and lastly, we have vertical angles. Now, vertical angles are angles that are opposite each other when two lines intersect. The definition states also that they are congruent. So let's say that this angle right here is 20 degrees. Find x for me. There is literally no equation that you need to do. You know that these are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, x also equals, drum roll, 20 degrees. And that's it. There you have complementary angles, supplementary angles, and vertical angles. If you have any questions about this, feel free to send me a message. I'll answer your questions as best as I can. Thank you.